What is good YouTube, Warshu here with a video on the Avengers 4. So this is a requested video by a subscriber that sent me an email and wanted me to go over a plot leak, which I don't think I've gone over this one before and I really do like going over potential plot leaks. Then give my input whether I think it's true or false. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of these videos. But if you want to enter the latest giveaway, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and let me know down below who is your favorite super villain or villain either either doesn't matter so let's get into this video so this supposes plotly seems like from skimming over it before we go over it properly seems pretty legit but before we get into the video guys let me know in the comment box down below what is the avengers 4 title now apparently the avengers 4 trailer isn't actually coming out this friday as it's been debunked by a disney rep i mean i've not heard this like i wasn't told this personally i've just heard this from someone so don't expect it this week so apparently the movie starts like this there is no time travel in the movie thanos really became a farmer just like in the comics um well if they are traveling through time vortexes technically it's not time travel it's like quantum realm travel so technically that will be true and at the end of the movie it has now been confirmed in concept art that thanos did actually become a farmer the movie starts with tony stark and nebula arriving on a destroyed wakanda they find all the avengers devastated by the death of half of the universe population there's tension between tony and steve who soon leaves the place black widow follows him uh, i mean this sounds legit because obviously nebula and tony stark were stuck on wakanda together obviously he's a genius she's a robot genius kind of i guess so that sounds true and tony stark Tony Stark and Steve Rogers do have beef, so that does make sense. And Black Widow does follow Steve Rogers around like a lapdog. MCU opening, Avengers theme song in a slow pace, announcing a real start to the movie. It is shown what happened after Infinity War. Yep, that sounds quite legit. We then see some of Doctor Strange's 14 million visions showing how to beat Thanos based on other dimensions and different times. This includes scenes showing a dead Thor, Captain America wielding the original Thor hammer, Tony Stark with the tech gauntlet, and a Grey Hulk among some of the other flashbacks. Now we know this is true because it's basically being confirmed that we will be getting an alternate version of the same characters. So I do believe this will be happening. And it's been rumored for such a long time that in one of these alternate realities that Thor will die. Obviously he won't die because they're most likely gonna make like the, the fourth Thor movie. And it's heavily, heavily teased that Captain America will die in this movie because his contract's over. But War Stew, this means he doesn't actually die. Okay, yeah, it's not confirmed, but it pretty much will. Tony Stark with a tech gauntlet, which is a version of the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, I can see it happening. The whole scene is cut to show Doctor Strange's face waking up in a place that looks just like the one that Thanos was talking to Infant Gamora after he snapped his finger. That's been confirmed to be their version, like, the MCU's version of the Soul World. Thanos looks around and sees thousands of capsules floating through this place, and it is shown that those capsules retain all the beings that were killed by the snap after that. Thanos comes back to the kid Gamora again, and we know the place is a soul stone. So yeah, that's pretty much confirmed. There are some deleted scenes. There was an alternate ending where Thanos is walking through like a blood place, but it obviously for a PG-13 movie, that couldn't have happened. So, so far, some of this stuff could really happen. Doctor Strange finds some important characters that his vision revealed like Hank Pym, Star-Lord, and some unknown characters so far. We do know this movie will be introducing some new characters, kind of, um, like the 13 Reasons Why. 13 Reasons Why Star is in the movie. That will be introducing Captain Marvel. Doctor Strange managed to move inside the Soul Stone due to the spell he cast before dying. Well, he didn't die. Let's be honest, guys. He didn't die. He then uses a small spell to unfreeze people. He does that to Hank Pym. Yeah, he did cast some kind of spell. So, so far, I can see why the person wanted me to go over this. It does sound pretty legit. On Earth, Tony Stark becomes S.H.I.E.L.D. brand director. He authorizes the activation of the Iron Legion to help rebuild the world. Some units were created to help people that lost their closest ones, like Aunt May and the boy on Iron Man 3, who lost their parents after the snap. Tony also uses the Iron Legion to search for Thanos throughout the galaxy. I mean, this does seem legit because obviously Thanos at the end of the movie disappeared. And obviously, unless you got the time traveling stone, um, the stone that allows you to go literally anywhere, he's never going to find him unless 
they start taking the stones and then here comes them so yeah and we do know from set photos that agent a shield he will be working with him so i believe that captain america and his new team search for hawkeye who goes by the name that rowan and wears a mask now being an outlawder, he's tracking a person believed to be a scroll. Steve's companion intent to gather all Cap's team heroes that were together in Civil War since Steve and Tony are still acting like they don't like each other. And they tried to find Rowan. Captain America then asks about Scott Lamb and how they can find him. I mean, this sounds legit because we've read supposed leaks of like obviously Hawkeye character being in Japan. So yeah, this does sound pretty legit and obviously Ant-Man will be key to all this. Thor meets Dr. Selvig and they go again to the cave where he had the vision of the Infinity Stones, if you remember, in Avengers 2. In this vision, Thor finds that everyone who died after the snap were really dead, but kept inside the Soul Stone with this information. Thor goes to tell Tony everything he saw. So yeah, we know all these visions, all these premonitions will come true. So this could really happen. At the moment, Captain Marvel appears flying over Manhattan, which is in New York. Tony and Thor go after her, treating her like a new threat. They start fighting where Captain Marvel shows all her powers and defeats both the Avengers. Captain Marvel then tells them that she received a signal from Nick Fury. Tony accepts that and she represents no threat. Now we know due to the Captain Marvel prelude magazine why she was the silver bullet that Nick Fury never wanted to hit till now. So we know that's true and we also know that she will be able to kick anyone's ass in the Avengers. So yeah, that probably is true. Doctor Strange, gathering Hank Pym's knowledge of the quantum realm, manages to find a way out of the Soul Stone through Doctor Strange's dimensional domain. And with that, manages to go to an alternate dimension which is quantum world where scott lang is stuck with the help of janet van dyne dr strange finds out that it's that it's possible to contact wong in the same way she did contact scott lang through his mind that way wong reaches the place where the quantum realm machine is and brings scott lang who then brings all three back to the real world now this is going to be have to be a part in some part of the movie because obviously ant-man is the only person who can travel through the quantum realm at least for now captain america has a long beard cool 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 and long hair now we've seen this in the alternate avengers infinity war like art book that's true and he's absolutely torn and depressed at this stage he blames himself for all the losses he's had after the finger snap there's a scene where cap's team fight the scrolls the scene is really intense with the fight the scene is really intense with fights and brawls and Cap's team is almost defeated when suddenly a shine, a golden light appears in the sky and everyone is destroyed. Defeat all the scrolls in a matter of seconds. This can be only Captain Marvel. But if you've seen the first Captain Marvel trailer guys, you know her powers come from the quantum realm. It's so obvious so yeah i think the scroll will have to have some part of this because we know it's going more cosmic so it's going to go more to outer space and we're going to be like seeing other planets and stuff so so far a lot of this could be legit captain marvel was sent by tony to find cap's team and invite him to join the fight with thanos once again in a temporary truce provided by tony captain marvel looks at steve rogers in his deplorable state and questions him about captain america's honor doubting that he could really be the legend that she once heard of during her childhood in an emotional military dialogue with captain marvel steve is motivated again to come back and fight once more i mean yeah this sounds true because you know captain marvel sadly guys sadly warheads she's going to be replacing captain america yeah, Captain Marvel is going to be the face of Phase 4, so that could be true. They move to S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters, where they find Tony after a virtual reality video is shown to introduce the whole story so far to Captain Marvel. Obviously, when we watched the movie, we would have already seen Captain Marvel movie, so maybe this bit's a bit intangible, a bit pointless, but I guess not everyone's going to watch it. Passing through the Battle of New York all the way to Thanos' snap, Tony gives Captain America's traditional suit back to Steve, along with his shield that he took off, through, took off him at the end of Civil War, you remember? That my shield my father made it you know steve cuts his hair and shaves taking back the appearance of captain america of the first avenger which has been confirmed actually to be the first marvel movie in the actual timeline but that timeline doesn't consist of the captain marvel movie so we do know that they will be revisiting all the shots so maybe it's literally virtuality shotage like footage of the, what actually happened so maybe that's the case why everyone thinks they're going back to New York scene because of that. So it's pretty anxious. But Tony says that is all temporarily. And after taking care of this, 
there will be reckoning. Oh, okay, and we do know Captain America is going back to the vintage car Captain America. Look, so a lot of this does sound pretty interesting. After all, three teams are gathered. Tony, Stark, and Thor's team. Cap's team, and Doctor Strange and Hank Pym. Hank manages to create a form of tracking, the energy trial of the stones, and finds Thanos' whereabouts. Hank Pym and Tony Stark then create a device that can reap the energy of an infinity stone, making it possible for a human to hold without dying. Such device is given to Thor, Iron Man, Scott Lang, Captain America and Captain Marvel, Bruce Banner, after successful attempts to turn into Hulk again, manages to finally transform. So we got the supposed, I guess you could say, suit leaks for the quantum realm. There's been a lot of dis like discussion in the Marvel community world. Are they real? Are they fake? The Photoshop at first looked okay, but looking back at it, it did look kind of fake. But then you got supposedly good sources saying it's real, it's real. But let's be honest, we don't know if it's real. So this part could be true, but we do know during the New York scenes, uh, at least with reshoots, that they do all have something around the wrist, which very well could be this they all travel towards the planet where thanos is and they start the final battle it is very intense and thrilling fight against thanos well we hope so it's building up for this for 10 years or is it 10 years i don't know because marvel changes the timeline it's in a given moment it looks like the avengers will lose but then captain marvel appears shining with great power and faces thanos in an epic battle she aims on destroying the gauntlet the avengers are together once more and they manage to destroy the gauntlet which explodes all the stones are on the floor the avengers retain possession of almost every stone but thanos falls back and retreats to the soul stone which disappears after that hank is still on Earth manages to track the whereabouts of the Soul Stone that came back to Volmir, where Thanos sacrificed Gamora. Arriving there, they start a quest for the stone in teams of two. Tony and Steve the find the place, face Red Skull. Steve is shocked that Red Skull is still alive. Red Skull explains that he is now immortal but cannot leave Volmir. Now that he's the Stonekeeper, he instructs him that in order to gather the Soul Stone, they have to sacrifice something that is dear. He then suggests that Tony's likes for Steve vice versa is marvellous. Tony looks to Steve, Steve looks to Tony in a brief moment of silence which could be misled for bromance. Steve gives Tony his shield and says goodbye my dear friend. In an emotional sad scene, Steve throws himself on the cliff sacrificing his life in order to give tony the soul stone okay i mean really maybe interesting but there is another theory that i've got basically where like tony stark's future daughter morgan i guess you could say we've heard about her, the start of infinity war technically he could sacrifice her if that plot line actually would work so i don't know but this bit sounds a bit deep it sounds a bit obvious but what do you think after that captain marvel sees the soul stone energy and follows it investigates what is happening there she finds a heartbroken tony stark with the soul stone in his hand she is sorry but reminds tony that it is his duty to accomplish the goal. She gets two stones at the same time. Thor wields one without Pym's device. Scott Lang, Tony Stark with a device, with a stone for each one. They undo what Thanos did and all the heroes inside the Soul Stone come back to life, but keeping his own mind, becoming Professor Hulk. Now we do know it's kind of unofficially been like confirmed, I guess, that Hulk will become Professor Hulk. But like I said in the video today, this is technically the last hulk movie in the three-part trilogy that started with phil ragnarok so maybe this could be last appearance and i do believe we will be getting professor hulk it's going to be pretty cool the movie ends with doctor strange caging thanos in a dimensional prison in the quantum realm surrounded by a spell after that there's a scene with all the mcu characters gathered in captain america's funeral there are thousands of people in the funeral scene sad tony stark says that the heroes will never give up even if it means sacrificing their own lives um I mean, there's a lot of cool parts in this, but the floor is Black Widow wasn't really mentioned. She was mentioned once uh, following t like Steve Rogers around, which she does. Loki wasn't mentioned at all. Where's Loki? There really wasn't much Star-Lord, Groot. Um, but I guess because obviously they're in like the Soul World, so I guess you could get away with that. But definitely not Loki part. Loki is 100% in this movie. The end credits scenes are kind of, mm, they seem a bit generic, but now we know that the Fox deal is going through. And I think it would be a better idea if there was a post credit scene dedicated to Stan Lee, because without Stan Lee, this movie would have never been made. But what this potential, like, take it with a pinch of salt kind of leak says, for the post credit scene. Everyone is coming out of the ceremony where Steve Rogers is buried. Few people remain there. All of a sudden, in a motion blur, a man appears in a wheelchair. Without revealing his face, wearing a hat, moving towards the screen, the man takes his hat off and is shown 
to be bowled in a wheelchair, followed by five people, the music grows and grows. Okay, how cool would it be? But I don't really feel like they have to set up the X-Men in the Avengers 4 movie. I mean, most people want there to be a good X-Men movie. I mean, there are a lot of good X-Men movies, but X-Men movies do get a lot of slack. But it'd be interesting to see if Marvel can do everything better because everyone's like, yeah, Marvel movies are great. There's been a lot of Marvel movies that suck. I mean, it took me four attempts to think Civil War was like, pretty good. I mean, I stopped watching it the first time I watched it. And the second post credit scene's like this. Captain Marvel arrives on a devastated planet after receiving a stress call. There, she finds all the soldiers dead. She questions one soldier and asks what happened. There's a name. The name is Adam Warlock. Captain Marvel pulls a holographic device and contacts a being node named Nova. Okay, yeah. Adam Warlock was potentially going to appear in gardens of the galaxy 3 so whilst james gunn was working he said no he wasn't going to be in avengers 3 or 4 i'm pretty sure quote me if i'm wrong don't quote me if i'm wrong um is adam warlock gonna show up maybe there are some like random characters see characters is nova gonna appear eventually and he will appear so that's gonna be interesting so i think that a good chunk of this will be real but I think the consistency is a bit out of it's a bit out of whack. There needs to be more quantum realm. We know that phase four will be heavy quantum realm based, so I don't believe I believe a good chunk of it could happen. So it's recently been confirmed that they will be marketing Avengers 4 very different to any other Marvel movie. But like I've said before, guys, they don't need to market Avengers 4. Everyone that watched Infinity War, you know, hit 2 billion at the box office. Everyone that watched it wants to watch the second part. They literally don't have to even market this movie, but they will. But I'm really interested to find out how differently can they market a movie that everyone knows is coming. It's the second part of the movie, so... I don't really think they need to drop a trailer soon, but it would be cool if they did. Obviously, we're, we're under six months to it coming out now, so obviously they will drop a movie very soon. So hopefully you've made it all the way to the end of the video. Much appreciate if you did. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe, and share. As you know, there's a big problem on YouTube at the moment. I mean, YouTube went down a day ago for a brief moment, but it's a bit weird. But yeah, so smashing that like button, smashing that subscribe button, and smashing that notification button helps the channel grow. And I will catch you in another video very soon but first guys let me know do you think this like rumored leak uh, plot leak is is legit i mean someone asked me to go over it and i really love going over plot leaks because i think they're very interesting videos anyway guys i'll catch you in very in a video very soon catch you later